वेस्टिब्यूलर सिस्टम दिस इज बेसिकली अगेन स्पेशल सोमेटिक ऑफरेंट सिस्टम विच इज कंसर्न विद द बैलेंस पोस्टर मेंटेनेंस एंड कोआर्डिनेटिंग वेस्टिब्लो ऑकुलर एंड फॉर वेस्टिब्लो ऑकुलर रिफ्लेक्सेस वी गोइंग टू डिटेल ऑफ द होल सिस्टम राइट एंड इन दिस सिस्टम फर्स्ट विल सी एग्जैक्टली where is the vestibule as we discussed in last lecture that let's suppose here is cranial cavity and here the interior cranial fossa here it is posterior cranial fossa with foramen magnum middle cranial fossa of course nose and ears as we discussed yesterday this is external auditory meatus and here it is after that there is middle ear and just medial to the middle ear here is cochlear system here is cochlear system posterior to the cochlear system here it is vestibular system there is vestibule right on both sides and with this vestibule there are three, three semicircular canals there is the interior there is posterior and there is lateral the same way there is interior or superior some people call it interior other call the same superior then there is posterior and there is lateral right now this is the basic structure which is of our interest today that uh, what is its anatomy what is its physiology and what is its histology and then of course its central connections and their liens along with clinical importance right so i will draw this structure in a magnified way basically this whole structure consists of okay let me tell you both of these structures together that how exactly they are basically in this particular bone which is cartilaginous part of temporal bone this is a network made of bony system right we also call it bony labyrinth cochlea and vestibular and semicircular system whole of it is basically network of bony canals right and bony pockets so let me tell you exactly how it is there okay let's suppose this is vestibule here is suppose part of a cochlea if you really want to draw it more we can this is a bony canal this is a box made of bone right which is called vestibule then behind it here are semicircular canal lateral canal is present over here i'll make it little more posterior so that you can see it more clearly this is this is present laterally attached with the system here is one which is attached anteriorly or superiorly posteriorly now what we really see here that this is basically all bone right this is all structure is basically bony box and this bony box has three bony 
you can say semi circular canals attached with it right and with this this another bony canal which is called cochlea right this is a right ear this is anterior side and this is posterior side and this must be lateral and there it must be medial is that right now the basic principle in understanding whole the structure is that you just imagine that let's suppose this is a bony system right and in this bony system if we put one membrane filled cavity this is membranous cavity and here it is bone outside also this is bone and the fluid which is present between the bone and this outer membrane this is called perilymph this is perilymph and fluid which is present within the membranous system this is called endolymph is that right this is the basic design maintained throughout right that black area is representing what your bony system and bony system is housing a membranous system and fluid between the bony system and the membranous system is paralymph or we can say bony labyrinth and membranous labyrinth right uh, fluid which is filling the gap in between that is paralymph and fluid which, which is present within the membranous labyrinth this is called endolymph right now if we apply this structure over here then what we will be really making let me make it more clear so that you can actually from here membranous labyrinth start okay this has been a mistake isn't it this has come out of the bony system right thank god nature is not doing mistakes like that otherwise there will be a big trouble in making and functioning of your vestibular system right so it will be wise if we make the bony system all black so that we don't make mistakes like that now membranous system is housed within the bony system yeah now it's coming at the right place now what really happens that this is bony system of the cochlea with the membranous system of the cochlea right once it come over here it is divided into yeah what is it this is this is this cannot be utricle because utricle is something like uterus to which flop tubes are attached is there any tube attached no this is sacco then this is the utricle the second which i'm drawing this is on the back of it the second is this is utricle then this antero inferior is sacule and this is utricle now what really happens that sacule and utricle are made of the membranous structures which are housed within or they are living within the vestibule now from here again what is this in the semicircular canal there is semicircular yes please duct in the same way from here also this is semicircular duct let's enlarge it further this is semicircular duct again here also this must be semicircular yes please duct semicircular duct again lateral duct anterior duct posterior duct is that right now all this structure must have peri lymph okay i'm going to draw the peri lymph in red color perilymph is present between the bony system and the membranous system so perilymph must be present in this area 
perilymph must be present in this area right it means uh, that perilymph is present yeah in cochlear system there were bony cochlea having a cochlear duct and in between the cochlear duct and cochlea there was peri lymph is that right and within this duct what is there yes yes please endolymph and within this cochlear duct not only endolymph is there which is somewhat like intracellular fluid and perilymph is uh, somewhat like extracellular fluid but you know this uh, cochlear duct is housing a very important sensory structure which we discussed last time that was organ of cortae. Now listen carefully. What really I show here? Bony, bony cochlea with membranous cochlear duct. Is that right? And membranous cochlear duct floating in the perilymph. And itself it is having endolymph. And within its uh, structure of cochlear duct, it has sensory epithelium which is present on the basilar membrane and which is named as organ of Cortae. Any question up to here? There is no. Now, in the same way, in the same designing system, we should move posteriorly. That vestibule is a bony structure and in this bony structure, there is membranous system. Between the membranous system and between the bony structure, what is this red fluid? Yes, please. This is perilymph. Is that right? In the same way, what is this fluid here? Again, it is perilymph, please. Because still we are between the bone and the membranous structure. Right? So, still it should be considered perilymph. And again, in this area, what is this? Between the semicircular canal and the duct. Canal is made of bone and duct is made of membrane. Again, this is perilymph. And within this, what is this? Yes, endolymph. This is endolymph filling the saccule. Here is endolymph filling the utricle. Utricle has a lot of, what is this? Like uterus has fallopian tubes. You have to remember utricle has also, uh, what are these? Semicircular ducts opening into this. Is that right? Again, here, what is it? Endolymph. So I hope this basic uh, design of all the fluid system is clear to everyone. Now, when you look at this diagram, when you look at this diagram, what are the basic principles? Number one, in the inner air structure, it may be cochlea or it may be vestibular, it may be semicircular canals. First of all, there are bony spaces. Within the bony spaces, there is a fluid called perilymph. Within the perilymph, there are membranous structure floating which are called membranous labyrinth. And membranous uh, labyrinth having uh, another type of fluid within which is called endolymph. And within that membranous labyrinth, within the structure of membranous labyrinth, we have sensory epithelium. We have sensory epithelium. Is that right? Now, again, when we talk about cochlea, we will develop analogy. We will compare cochlear structure with vestibular structure with semicircular canal structure. Here bone is cochlea. Listen. Here bone is cochlea. Here the bony space is called vestibule. Here bony spaces are called semicircular canals, not ducts, but semicircular canals. Right? So cochlea, vestibule, semicircular canals. Now within the cochlea, we are having membranous labyrinth structure. What is this? Cochlear duct. Here we have saccule and utricle, and here we have semicircular ducts. Then sensory organ here. Here sensory organ system was sensory epithelium was present as organ of cortae. Here it was present as organ of cortae. Uh, here it is present as yeah. Here the epithelium, sensory epithelium. Here you know sensory epithelium is concerned with the hearing, which is called organ of cortex. Here sensory epithelium, which is patches of sensory epithelium which are present in, they are concerned with static balance, right? And here sensory epithelium which is present in these dilated areas, 
of the semicircular ducts they are for the kinetic balance is that right now here for the hearing purpose sensory epithelium was named as organ of corti here for static balance sensory epithelium patch of sensory epithelium within this which is housed over there it is called maculae this is called maculae they are looking like a macule when the doctors initially anatomist opened they found a dark area here and dark area here they thought it's just a macule dark spot so maculae and sensory epithelium which is present in this what is this structure ampulla dilated ampulla that is called cristi that is called cristi is that right now let me make a another way to explain it look bony structure bony structure right having what yeah membranous membranous yes structure yeah what what it is having sensory epithelium or sensory structure is that right now when we go for this if we say bony structure is cochlea then membranous structure in this is cochlear yes please duct and sensory epithelium is yes organ of corti right and what is the function okay we write the function here function this is hearing audition is that right now we go to the next structure here we put vestibule what is there vestibule vestibule is having two membranous structures what are these secule and uterical and both of the, them are having sensory structure and those sensory structures are called maculae right and what is the function of maculae static balance static balance right then we come to the next structure semicircular circular canals which are having the bone uh, membranous structure which is called semicircular semicircular ducts and semicircular ducts are housing the specialized structures which are called cristi and cristi are concerned with which function kinetic, kinetic balance so this concept should be clear in your mind the bony structure consists of cochlea vestibule and semicircular canals all of them are housed in vitreous part of temporal bone right in the cochlea we have cochlear duct having organ of quality function is hearing vestibule has secule and uterical sensory patches maculae and or macule for static balance and semicircular canals having membranous labyrinth what is this semicircular ducts housing which type of sensory system cristae and which are eventually ending up into kinetic. kinetic is that right now after the having learned this thing now we have to go into detail how the macule work and how the cristae work we have already seen yesterday that how the organ of corti work which is present on the basilar membrane and we discussed this is inner cell and organ of corti there were three there were one inner cell layer and three outer cell layer and i told you at a particular frequency a particular part of basilar membrane will vibrate and then angulation of the hair cell will rub against the membrana tectoria and that will alter the cationic influx and produce local generator potential of micro phonic cochlear potentials is that right now we have to talk about how this structure work and how this structure work if this is clear to you then i will go ahead anyone who has a question about the structure there is no question